So, my name is Jean-Philippe Evra. I'm working for Rackspace um, in the London office and I'm working on OpenStack Entity. Uh, hello, my name is Marcos Andras. I work for Susan and I'm a core reviewer in um, the OpenAV XCI project and also in the OpenStack Access project. Hi, my name is Fahad Devanji. I work for Ericsson based in Stockholm, Sweden. Uh, I work in the OPMFT community as project technical lead of this engineering project and I, uh, I am heavily involved in this cross community CI initiative that is driven by OPMFT Infra working group. So, uh, since I mentioned OPMFT cross community CI initiative, it's, perhaps it's a good opportunity to explain what the cross community CI initiative is. Uh, open NFE is basically the open platform uh, for network functions virtualization. It's an open source project which is hosted by Linux Foundation, which aims to bring in different open source components together, such as OpenStack, Open Daylight, to uh, establish a reference platform for network functions virtualization. And in order to achieve this, we as OpenFE community, we work with all these different upstream communities to see what is there what is missing and what we need to do from Taco point of view. And while we are doing this, we go to all these different communities and work with these communities and we work in upstream to fix these missing things or improve how the things are done. And initially, OPNFE is based on stable versions of all these upstream components and which basically takes months for us to bring in these new features or bug fixes into OPNFE. And we want to cut this time short so we can make the introduction of the new features faster, we can make the bug fix faster and so on. And in order to achieve this, we want to work against Trump, which basically is Pike or Queens at the moment. And to enable this, we need some tooling in place as well. While we were looking for the different tooling OpenStack community has, we identified Pyforce as one of the pieces in our uh, tool chain and the other tool is OpenStack Ansible which we use for deploying OpenStack to our bare metal resources. And that's how our journey started. We started looking into different tooling and we found out that Bifrost and OpenStack Ansible is actually they provide us what we need. Source based deployment, containerized OpenStack services and so on. That brings us to um, the work in OpenStack Ansible that could be um, changing the way we do containers, because nowadays everyone wants to deploy with containers, but we started this project long ago uh, with Lexi containers, and now we are improving the, the path to having different kind of containers supported. And one of the next would be um, the systemd and spawn. Um, but this is just one of the work that we plan to do for the weeks. Um, there are other works that were starting in um, Pike and that will continue in Queens, like more support of uh, different distributions to make sure that it's possible to deploy the stack Ansible everywhere. And one of it is open is OpenSUSE. Yeah, so for OpenSUSE, um, I started uh, working on it on the Pike release. So before that, uh, OpenStack has only supported Ubuntu and most of CentOS. Um, so in the pack release, I just start working on getting OpenSUSE supporting OpenStack Ansible itself and its roles. So um, in the end, uh, the pack release we have uh, full OpenSUSE support, um, which is uh, it's a good thing that has been achieved in a single um, release cycle. And uh, because of that, now we can uh, have good um, distribution support in the OpenAV. XCI project as well. Um, yeah. That's basically a really good point to talk about this distro support because it brings us to giving people choice. That is what we want to achieve with XCI initiative. We don't want to enforce people to use certain distro. We, want, we don't want uh, developers to deploy all the OpenStack services and so on, which is basically giving choice. For example, OpenStack Ansible has one playbook which is called Setup OpenStack. But for the features we have in OpenFE, for example, service function chaining, 
they don't need all the open stack services. So they can pick and choose which services they want to activate for service function chain, which brings us to other open source community, which is Open Daylight, SDN Control. So basically, they can pick open stack services. They can also use Open Daylight and Ansible role together with Tacker role, and they can bring up the service function chain scenario to our bare metal pods, which in the end makes their lives easier because their deployment times become shorter because they don't deploy all the services. And that brings us to OpenStack and Ansible back again with the different aspects of it, like flexibility, not just supporting source-based deployments or uh, containerized services, but also it gives you a possibility to pick and choose what services you want to activate. Yeah, on, on that, um, because you just said open daylight, um, this was um, included into the Pike cycle uh, to have more features that are NFV enabled. So there is work that will be done in the next cycle to still improve these kind of use cases. But work has started already in Pike to support Open Daylight, and the Congress support will also come in Queens, and many other will be coming. I guess now would be the time to uh, talk about where to find us. So uh, if you want to find OpenStack Ansible, you can find it on Freenode, and uh, you can talk with us there uh, on the hashtag OpenStack-Ansible channel. Um, you can um, also contact us on the mailing list by uh, on OpenStack Dev, for example, by adding the symbol OpenStack-Ansible. Um, for the title of your mail, and that will help us to find us directly what you are looking for. And um, yeah, the documentation is uh, standard um, um, docs.openstack.org. Um, you can find our special repository, your, our main repositories, in uh, git, github.com slash openstack slash openstack and for free. And for XCI initiative, you can find us on free notes. Uh, Open the Faros channel, hash open the dash Faros channel, where all the uh, contributors for cross community CI effort is hanging out. And we also started moving our documentation to a proper, more proper place on OpenFV, uh, docs.openfv.org under infrastructure space, which will document all these cross community CI uh, efforts. And we also provide sandbox based on OpenStack Ansible and Bifrost, which you can deploy all in one or uh, multi node uh, OpenStack instances where which you can use for different purposes, like Sanjan is using for training, and for others, they are using for feature development, and they will all be available on docs.opinion.org. And uh, the code is also available on, on um, the uh, Opinion Big Git repositories, so it's easy to find everything in it there. And we are also active on the Opinion mailing list 